Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to do chest workouts. Before that we start with our usual dynamic stretching. I'll do my greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side. Today I have also included a side angle of the stretch as I do. So if few of you are still trying to catch up with how to do the stretch, you can see how I am doing it. As you push your leg back, make sure you maintain a tight contraction in your glutes to get that upper body stretch. If you leave your glutes loose, your lower body also starts to turn, defeats the purpose. So make sure you keep your glutes squeezed as much as possible and feel the inner thigh stretch as much possible. Make sure you get four to five repetitions on each side to get an efficient opening of your body. A great exercise, you can do it first thing in the morning, just before going to sleep, before your workouts. And to finish off with, I make sure I squat deep at least once in a day. Best thing is to do before your workout, no matter which body part you're working on. Just lean forward by pushing your glutes as far behind as possible and slowly get down into a deep squat. If you feel any restrictions, foam roll and try again. So for my first warm up exercise, since we are working on our chest muscle, I am going to do my favorite cable crossovers. Here you can see how I cross both my hands one over the other with for every repetitions, making sure my chest gets the maximum amount of contraction and I go slow. I don't push through the weight quickly and make sure I feel the contraction on every repetition and also feel the blood rushing in to make uh, to make the muscle move. The other thing which I also mentioned last time is to make sure the cable stays in line with your elbow and that way the load doesn't shift up or down the load stays along with your arms so you can drive your arms forward and across using your chest muscle as an adductor. The load of the weight could be just challenging enough to get 12 to 15 repetitions. So I've done two sets of it with 30 seconds break in between. So for my first exercise, I'm going to do calf raises again. This time holding a weight with one arm, you can use a dumbbell, plate, kettlebell, whatever is available with you. Two sets, 15 repetitions, 30 seconds break in between. You need not take a break after this exercise and before the exercise because we are working on different muscles. So it's easy to switch to the next exercise. It's uh, That's one way to save time. Make sure uh, if you need, like I am doing here, use the other hand to take support to balance yourself. And with one arm, you can hold on to a weight. If you have a weighted vest, use that. If you have a weight belt, use that to load on with weight or else you can hold on to a weight like I am doing here with one hand. You can switch arms in between or you can continue with the same arm. Doesn't really matter much. So for my first exercise, I am going to do chest press. Now, if you don't have this particular equipment, no worries. You can do it on a flat bench or you can do on a... Uh, on, on a flat bench or with dumbbells with with barbell anything would be fine I did three sets with as much weight as I can move almost close to my body weight uh, even with the, on the first set itself on my last on my third set I did a drop set the first set I tried to get eight to twelve repetitions for my third set it was a drop set so I to get as many repetitions as possible so I was trying to push really hard as you can see the entire equipment moved a bit back but I was trying to push the weight as much as possible while ensuring proper form you can see how the bar is in level with my chest not too high not too low to ensure there's not much of shoulder involvement they will be a little bit but I tried to uh, make it as less as possible and try to focus the entire contraction on my chest. While dropping weights 
on a dumbbell it might take you few seconds in between because you have to put down the dumbbells which you're holding and take uh, a new or different set a different weight so that's absolutely fine it still counts as a drop set on a barbell you might need a partner to do it quickly if you don't have still fine drop a couple of plates on both the sides and continue as many drops as you can do and for my second exercise I'm going to do push-ups now with push-ups by now your chest will be a bit tired so try to get at least 8 to 12 repetitions I did 3 sets again 30 seconds break in between now if you are unable to do a push-up I have mentioned this in my previous videos one of the video that don't do a knee down push-up instead increase the height of your hand position so you can do you can place your arms on a bench or against a uh, box against a rod even if that is challenging you can lean against a wall and try to push yourself off the wall at a slanting angle and then progress uh, the progression would be to lower your height at your hand level and slowly 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 come down to the floor level so again if you there's one more thing which I wanted to mention is that if you're unable to do push-up uh, more than two or three you can do it like I am doing drop down onto the floor push yourself off the floor then drop down again then again push yourself off the floor and try to get as many repetitions as possible and that's it for our push-ups now for my third exercise I am doing incline press three sets 8 to 12 repetitions I grabbed the weight which I thought was challenging enough which was 20 kilos dumbbells because of the all the chest work I have already done my chest was pretty pumped up by now so 8 to 12 repetitions what I would suggest is don't get into a 45 degree incline ankle angle if possible get the least amount of incline angle if the bench at your disposal allows that if it doesn't if you have a fixed bench continue with that but if it does have increments in a very small increment uh, small small angle differences like 15 degree 30 degree 45 degree I would suggest to use as less as possible to just get a little bit of incline not much so for my last exercise I'm going to do cable crossovers again this time only two sets and as many repetitions as possible with a very challenging weight again slow repetitions making sure my arms grow across each other like I'm trying to hug someone or I'm actually hugging someone and feeling every contraction also make sure the cable stays in line with your elbow to get the maximum efficiency out of this exercise a little bit of leaning forward one leg forward is absolutely fine to control your balance so for my last exercise I am going to do the drop and catch for my forearms again I'm using a 5 kilo dumbbell I have done two sets 10 to 12 repetitions each hand with 30 seconds break in between sets so as you can see I have dropped it a couple of times this time but what I have done here is uh, one thing I want to mention is for you to be extremely careful while doing this exercise if you are training like me in barefoot make sure you're in control of the weight don't go extremely heavy because you might drop it on your legs so wear shoes if not try to be as careful as possible if you're training like me on barefoot because I did drop it uh, fortunately I did not hurt myself much what I have done is I have put a rubber mat exactly under the plate so even if I drop it it doesn't bounce much it stays in place the exercise otherwise is pretty simple you just take a plate drop it halfway and try to catch it before it hits the ground feeling your forearms activate leaning bit forward also challenges your legs a little bit but that's absolutely fine yeah as you can see I just dropped it on my legs but 
thankfully on uh, no injuries because of the rubber mat which control the bounce of the plate try to drop it from a high point and try to catch it as low as possible creating that explosive movement for your forearms and that's it we are done thank you for joining me today again so i hope you like the chest workout my chest felt amazing uh, after finishing all the exercises if you did please do like and if you haven't yet subscribed please do subscribe if you have any feedback please do drop a comment i will try to answer it or incorporate it whatever is required so for my static stretches what i'm doing right now is i've taken a long pvc pipe as you can see you can choose any long pipe i would like to do this workout on a bench but unfortunately all the benches were occupied so i went on to do it on the floor you just hold the pipe as far away as possible with both your arms that creates a stretch on your chest as you take the pipe behind your head now what i'm doing here is i'm not resting my arms on the floor i'm just touching the floor and holding there feeling the stretch in my chest and i've done three sets 15 to 20 seconds hold each time to open up my chest again after all that contraction so again that's it that's our last exercise for the day thank you so much for joining me i'll see you in the next video and i wish you a good recovery